Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at four different time turners from three different brands and comparing them all to each other. Welcome back to Aquamenti, and if you're new here, my name is Tony. I make videos about Wizarding World news, merch, and events. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the next video. Hopefully this comparison video will help you make the decision on which one you would like to purchase. Let's start off with the least expensive, coming in at $13.95 retail. Sometimes can be found for $11. This time turner is from The Running Press. The Time Turner from the Running Press comes in this neat little Time Turner kit box. It opens up and reveals the Time Turner. It does have a little booklet here that gives you some information about the Time Turner. It's in some felt plastic here that will keep it nice and secure, nice and snug. Now, this is a newly revised Time Turner from the Running Press because their previous one was a little more toy-like, but now they've gone ahead and fixed it up in my opinion. The chain measures at approximately 18 and a half inches and the time turner itself measures at around two inches in diameter. This time turner's design in particular is very close to that of the concept art from the movies and it is probably the most screen accurate version of the time turner we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the time turner over and we're actually gonna measure each one's different times on the hourglass in the center. Now this is not scientifically accurate in any way. I'm doing this the best that I can, so bear with me. Okay, just at about two and a half seconds here. So running press, two and a half seconds of sand time in the hourglass. And we'll put this one off to the side here. Next up, we have the time turner from Cine Replicas. This one retails for about $25 comes in this nice little box that says Wizarding World and Harry Potter. And inside the box, we have this felt bag. The back of the box does have the Cine Replicas logo. Inside the felt bag, you have the time turner wrapped in this paper to keep it safe. Now that's something that you might wanna pay attention to as well. Do you want something that will display your time turner or do you just want your time turner so you can wear it around? So just pay attention to those kinds of things as well. So our Cine Replicas time turners chain measures approximately 14 inches, almost a little bit under two inches for the diameter of the actual time turner itself. Side by side, you can definitely tell that the Cine Replicas version inside diameter is a lot smaller than the one from Running Press. Going back to the Running Press version, the Running Press version doesn't allow you to twist the time turner from the outer knobs. This will just spin if you flick it, but the Cine Replicas version is the first version that we're taking a look at that will actually let you spin it with the outside knob. Another key difference here is that the sand inside the hourglass is actually gold colored. Okay, we're gonna do our time test. This one is approximately 10 seconds you get here. Two seconds on the running press and 10 seconds on Cine Replicas. One thing that I've yet to mention is that all of these time turners are metal, none of them are plastic. Next up, we have what's probably the most seen time turner out there. And this is the Noble Collection Time Turner Prop Replica. This time turner retails at $49. And not only is it the time turner, but it comes with a nice display case. So just to get this out of the way, this is a wooden display box with a mirrored interior and you actually hang your chain on here and it will display your time turner right in the center. Very nice, very beautiful piece. Okay, moving on to the actual time turner itself. This is probably going to be our smallest time turner of the batch with also the smallest chain. But this is our first time turner that actually has the correct clasp for closing the chain, putting it together. The chain length is about nine and a half inches, while the actual time turner's diameter measures about one and a half inches. This one also has gold colored sand. And let's go ahead and do our time test. And this one is actually less than one second. The pinch in the hourglass is actually too big for it to even actually drip the sand. So it just all slides over all at once. Okay, and last but not least, we have the Time Turner Special Edition from the Noble Collection. Now this edition is said to be slightly larger with a larger chain, 
than the original that comes with the display box. Now this does also come with a display. This is how it will display instead. It's, um, it's not something that you can stand up really, something that's just gonna have to sit on the table. Now this lid just comes right off and it does have some of the text that is featured on the Time Turner. And we'll get into the text in just a second. So here are the two from the Noble Collection. The chains are actually different in size uh, with the links as well, not just the length of them, but they are using the same clasps for the ends here. So that's something that they carried over, which is great. The gold coloring, I would say, is about the exact same. One thing you can notice is that the inside diameter also did get a lot larger and we also had a change in the sand color as well as there being slightly more space in the center here. You can see that there's actually some space here left in between the metal and the clear part here. Now the chain measures about 16 inches and the diameter of the time turner measures just under around two inches. So the winner of the size lot here would definitely have to go to the running press. So if you're really looking for that larger piece, that standout piece, I would say that this is your go-to and it is one of the most affordable ones in this comparison. And we're not even gonna bother with the timer because this one does the exact same thing. The sand just all flips over all at once. So again, just reiterating, we have $13 here, we have $25 here, we have $49 here, and right here we have $59. Now let's go ahead and compare the text on the time turners themselves. So starting off with the running press version, I really like that it's actually punched in to the metal itself. It's also painted black and actually stylized in a different text than the rest of these. Moving on to the center replicas version, the text is also embossed, but there is no color here, which makes it my least favorite out of this set. Noble Collections is actually printed on, which I don't mind, but if you are gonna wear this, it might fade away and I would have rather it preferred to have been punched in just like Running Press's version. Now, no difference here in Noble Collection's larger version other than the spacing of the words to fill the space. Probably my second least favorite of the text. So here they are side by side, Running Press, Cine Replicas, and Noble Collection. Now I do have some concept art of the Time Turner handy with me that I can place right here next to them. So you guys can see, basically, this, is, this was designed by Mina Lima. These are the graphic designers behind the films of Harry Potter. They would design it, and then the prop makers would make the props, right? You can see that this really compares very well to the running press version. Now, as far as wearability, I have not worn these, so I don't know if the paint fades or if over time uh, text will go away or if there's discoloration. The Noble Collection does sell a sterling silver version of their smaller one, and they, I believe they also have a gold version, and I do think those are more for wearing than this display one, so I would suggest going with those. They are a little bit more pricey, definitely over $100, but you are paying that premium for actual uh, precious metals. And if you don't care for it to look exactly like in the movies, then Alex and Annie also have a smaller uh, Time Turner necklace that looks beautiful. I love that piece. It looks great. So you can definitely get something like that. There's definitely alternatives to having a Time Turner um, as far as wearables go. So these are probably the four best replicas on the market today. And I'd love to hear which one you prefer and why. And if this helped you out on making your decision on which one you're gonna pick up, make sure to go ahead and leave a like on the way out and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the next Wizarding World news, merch, and events. And I will see you in the next one.